Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to my video series on Embedded System. And uh, in this video, I'd like to introduce you to a uh, simulation tool that I'll be using in my future videos on uh, programming the 8051. And uh, this particular software is known as, as Ad Sim 51 or ED Sim 51 depends on how we, you would like to pronounce it. So what is the uh, ED Sim 51? Um, basically it's an 8051 simulator that display the state of the uh, registers, memory, the port pins uh, while the code is being executed. Now there are other simulator uh, commercial ones uh, that actually does uh, what the Ad Sim 51 do. However, the Ad Sim 51 has a graphical representation of the peripherals. Uh, by that I mean LEDs, switches, uh, LCD display, and so on. And that uh, these peripherals they are uh, used interactively to communicate with the 8051. Um, just to show you what it looks like. So this is the EDSIM 51. Uh, I'll go through the different parts of the uh, ED51. So we we'll start off with this particular uh, panel here. Uh, so this is the what we call the microcontroller controller panel. So here, this block here actually represents the 8051 and uh, I touch uh, on the uh, microcontroller architecture in my previous video and you can see some of the uh, registers that I mentioned uh, in the that video for example you have the program counter and then you have the uh, program status word and you have the timer uh, registers here uh, the R registers here, accumulator B, uh, accumulator, and so on. So you will see the representation of the internal uh, of the 8051. And this part here is the data memory. But if you click on this uh, button here, it will then show you the code memory, C-O-D-E, code memory. Uh, we'll talk more about this in my future videos. Uh, let me just go around here. This is the uh, port zero pins and basically it shows you what they are connected to. We'll come to that in a minute. And this is port one, port two, and port three. All right, so all the ports pins are shown here and this one here at the bottom here this is the peripherals panel and here this is the graphical representation of the peripherals this part here is the is, is a hex keypad and this here represent leds and here will be toggle switches this will be an LCD display. This is the serial. Uh, it, this panel here will display the serial uh, data coming, being received or transmitted. And this is the uh, representation of the motor. And this is the analog D to, to D, analog to digital converter. Sorry about that. And uh, hex display here. And here, obviously, a scope, a sort of scope. So, and finally, this part here is what is called the assembly code panel. Now, uh, we, will, we will be typing some code in here, and uh, I'll show you how this works in my future videos. Okay, so let briefly remind ourselves the pin out of the 8089s52 remember this is a variant of the 8051 so this is port 0 port 1 
pot two, pot three, this is your reset, your crystal goes here, and this is your ground and your VCC, and these three pins here are used if you are adding external memory devices. Again, I will talk a little bit more about these pins uh, in my fu future video. Right, I've extracted the uh, peripheral panel here. Let's see how this is related to the real thing, the, the physical real thing. So this is your 8089S52 uh, microcontroller. The port 0, port 1 is here, port 2, port 3. And this is your uh, switches. I'm trying to relate it to the uh, virtual, the uh, graphical representation of the Etsim 51. So this is your switches. Here are some dip switch and some push buttons. This and here is a hex keypad which is here and the LEDs which is this one here. All right, and uh, an LCD display. The uh, server motor is here, and uh, the serial communication panel is here. All right, so I just want to show you physically what it will look like in, in the real world. Right, let's talk about uh, installing the ads, the EDSIM 51. Um, open up your Google search engine, type in it. Uh, EDSIM 51 and you should find this here click on this link and it will bring you to the EDSIM 51 uh, homepage uh, this watch this part here where it says download click on the download and this uh, box will pop up uh, there are a couple of options here. Uh, I personally would uh, save the uh, EDC51 uh, zip file. So I'll, I'll select save file and then click on OK. Um, for me, I, would down, I have downloaded uh, the uh, zip file into the uh, download uh, section on my hard drive. Uh, you may wish to download it elsewhere on your computer, it's up to you. So this is your zip file and uh, unzip the uh, EDSIM51 zip file into appropriate uh, folder. Open up that folder, alright, and you should find the EDSIM51 uh, icon in that particular folder. Now just a word um, here, uh, this EDSIM51 is a Java uh, software. You will need the Java Runtime JRE uh, installed on your computer, but if you have a, a PC, it is highly likely that you would have the uh, Java uh, Runtime uh, installed, but um, you, you may need to check that. So if you double click on this icon and you should see this EDC51 popped up on, on your screen. All right, if, this, if you see this, then you have successfully installed the EDC51 on your computer. Now, in the next video, in the next few, few videos, I'm gonna look at programming the AD51. So we will, we will be using the assembly code panel. So until then, uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next video. Bye.